Okay, all right, elements. So this is Mrs. Gupta again, and this is your lab that I am trying to record for you. So I'm gonna conduct the lab as you would, and I'm trying to get the right lighting, so please be patient with me as I do that. So the room needs to get darker. Whoa, now you can see the numbers, but it is too dark. Let's see if this one is a tad bit better. There is a glare. Okay, there is a glare here. Let me try one light at the bottom. Yeah, this looks good. Alrighty, so in this lab, I will conduct the lab as you would have in the classroom. Okay, so what you cannot see here very clearly are the numbers. This is well one. Well two, three, four, five, six, then seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, there are twelve wells in here. And this is the lab that should be in your yellow packet. These are the last three pages of your yellow packet. So I'm going to do the lab. So first let's do part A of the lab where calcium nitrate. So what we're trying to do in this lab elements is we are trying to mix two substances, calcium nitrate, two solutions, calcium nitrate and sodium hydroxide. And the double replacement reaction is calcium hydroxide and sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate. And you know the net ionic equation is calcium ion plus two hydroxide ion form calcium hydroxide right this is the precipitate and then what happens that this precipitate creates a solubility equilibrium with calcium ion and two hydroxide ions so we are studying trying to calculate ksp expression ooh we are trying to study ksp expression for this equilibrium right okay and how we're going to do that is one time we vary the amount of calcium nitrate and keep NaOH the same and try to see where the first precipitate comes. And second time we're going to take same amount of NaOH and vary calcium nitrate. Okay, so let's do that. The lab tells me to, I'm going to zoom it in one more. The lab tells me here, I'm following this procedure, so follow along. Um, you have 12 wells. Put five drops of 0.1 molar calcium nitrate in the first one. This is five drops. This is one, 0.1 molar calcium nitrate. One, two, three, four, five. We'll be dropping lots of drops. Okay. Then place five drops of water in two through 12 in the first row five drops of water each this is the water so one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five i need to refill water One, 
two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Okay, now they all have water and now they ask us to place 5 drops of 0.1 molar calcium nitrate to well 2. So 5 drops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 drops of calcium nitrate to well 2. Use an empty pipette to mix solution thoroughly by drawing. Okay, so now we need to use the mixing pipette to mix the solution thoroughly by going back and forth. Okay, we've mixed it. Use the empty pipette to remove the solution from well 2 and put 5 drops into well 3. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we do do that. Put the remaining in well to mix the solution in three as before, and now we got to keep putting five five drops. Take me a little bit of time, be patient. Well done. Place five drops of 0.1 molar NaOH in 1 to 12. Okay. So NaOH. This is OH minus. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4.
What do they ask us to do now? Allow three to four minutes for the precipitate to form. Then observe the pattern. Okay, so we're going to just leave it and we're going to move on to part B. And in part B, put five drops of 0.1 molar NaOH. So I'm going to put a monoliva row empty. This is OH minus, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five drops of NaOH. Okay, then put distilled water. So this time we are doing. Okay, five drops of water, use an empty pipette. Add five drops of NaOH to well two. This is OH minus. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five drops of NaOH to well two. Use empty pipette to mix and then do serial dilution. Now I'm going to transfer five drops to each. One, two, Now they ask us to add five drops of calcium to each one. Maybe fill calcium.
leave it here and let's leave it for two to three minutes and then we'll observe the changes So as you notice elements here, let me focus on one valve, as I want to show you. Look at valve 1 and 2 and I'm not sure how clearly you can see it, but you can see some little white specks there. That is the precipitate. So precipitate from where I see it has started forming and I see the precipitate. It is not as clear in the video, but I'm going to zoom out and I can tell you that I can see the precipitate here all the way till well six. Well seven has no precipitate, right? Well seven has no precipitate, but till well six, there is precipitate I see here, and then no precipitate, well seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So precipitate, yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. Okay, then here I see precipitate in first three wells, one, two, and three, and then no, 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 no. Okay, that's the data you need. Please do the post lab questions, and we will have a YouTube live session to go over this lab as well. Thank you.